We'll move on now to the next story. This is a story about a young woman who was pregnant and was stabbed and burned to death by her own family members. Uh, she was attacked for eloping and marrying a Dalit man. The incident coming to light from the state of Karnataka, facing stiff resistance from her family who had uh, even taken her to the police station. The victim, Banu, had eloped and uh, also had gotten married when she returned. She was pregnant. Her family, who were completely outraged, uh, assaulted the boy first. They then stabbed and burned the girl alive while she was pregnant. Police have arrested four members of the family, including the victim's mother, her sister, and two brothers as well. The police are now on the lookout for Banu's two other sisters, who are currently on the run. Telling us a little bit more about this uh, case that has come in from the state of Karnataka is India Today's Deputy Editor Rohini Swami. Rohini, this is an absolutely horrific and gruesome murder that has come to light. But, uh, you know, we have seen uh, just how uh, caste relationships have gone or have become really ugly in the past as well from the state of Karnataka. <laughs> This is the sad part and apart from that, the, the way the whole entire episode unfolded, uh, the fact that they both were uh, in, in, in love with each other, they did go and live in Goa for a year, they registered the marriage a few months ago and even in January when, they were, uh, when the girl was at home, uh, before she even mentioned about marriage, she was dragged to the police station by her parents and the parents insisted that a case of sexual assault under POXO be filed against her at that time boyfriend and now husband. But later, they went and they registered their marriage. They thought that because she was pregnant, when she comes, the family will accept them. But that did not seem to be the case. Rather, the, the, girls, the girls' side ran it up at the boy's house. They assaulted the boy. They bit him. They threw stones at him. He somehow ex escaped. Eight members of her family right. landed up there. He tried to call the police. When he rushed there, at that time, they had stabbed her and killed her. But the bigger the story is that it took 10 minutes for the police to come because he was desperately trying to get in touch and the neighbors who were watching this they shut their doors and did not inform the police that was the sad part had the police intervened or somebody had called them earlier right that the life would have been saved absolutely right rohini thanks so much for joining us another case of an inter-caste marriage going terribly wrong in the state of karnataka